it's seldom that I get the opportunity to sit down and play simple radio. And by simple radio, I mean, you know, just hop on a repeater, two meter simplex, or in this case, get on CW with a cool little radio like the CFT-1. This is made by Jonathan. I, I, I got to look up your call sign here. KM4CFT. Thanks, Jonathan, for sending this radio out to me to take a look at. This is a five band portable CW transceiver. And while I'm not the biggest CW guy, for sure, although I am trying to get better at it, I did make quite a few contacts with it. And part of the reason that I could just sit down and enjoy it is that this is just a dead simple radio to use. It's simple in the sense that I could sit there and listen to it all day and all night. This has an automatic gain control feature, which makes listening to it an absolute breeze. And I'm told, you can go check out qrpeer.com for more information here. He used it during field day and uh, it didn't really suffer from any overloading. In my high noise environment here, my 40 meter band is incredibly noisy. And I made a couple contacts on CW on 40 meters and I, I really did enjoy it. Shout out to uh, AA6Z who I just finished working a POTA contact with. He was in Northern California, and I believe it was on 15 meters, but regardless, it was still a joy to hear. The design goals of this radio were met in full effect by Jonathan in that it, it is a simple radio to use. It packs a decent amount of bands that are often used for soda and poda. It sounds incredible. And the menu system, which a lot of people get stuck in, particularly with smaller radios like this, is incredibly simple to use. There's really only a couple settings like your CW key speed, your tone for the side tone, as well as what type of key you use, iambic straight, and yes, it has A and B mode, as well as setting a series of messages, and there are four on here. I set it to CQ, and thank you, you are 5NNBK. <laughs> anyway. use the radio in great effect to pick up KH8T in American Samoa doing a poda and he is on uh, 15 meters at least he was at the time of the recording of this video I don't know if he's gonna be there for long but uh, dudes coming in at like 37 words per minute and I didn't even try and attempt to contact I was uh, too intimidated by that but yeah coming in loud and clear and it sounds uh, really fantastic basically you get the theme of where I'm going here Now, power output's kind of an interesting note, and I'm going to run B-roll for this for y'all to take a look at, but uh, this put out like 10 watts on 40 meters, and then it gradually worked its way down. The highest draw in amperage was 1.5 amps, and it steadily goes down with about a 0.3 amp draw on receive, or in my case, running it off of a simple USB bank and a USB-C to 12 volt power delivery system. So 40 meters, what kind of power output do we get? Uh, 10 watts at 1.41 amp, and there was a fly on my finger. What the heck? Get out of here. On 30 meters, 4 watts out at 0.81 amp. On 20 meters, 6 watts out uh, at 1 amp. On 17, 4 watts out at 1 amp, or 4.5 about. And at 15, three and a half at 0.83 watt or amps, not bad. I gotta say, that's uh, pretty respectful though. Let's go back to that 40 meters for a second. That's pretty intense. That's like 10 watts out at 1.4 amp. That's pretty impressive, that's cool. This radio is available at hamgadgets.com. It goes for $349.95. It is a kit, but you can pay 30 more dollars to have pre-round toroids provided to you, which uh, 
there's five bands in here, there's going to be a decent amount of toroids. But fear not, ham fam, for the kit phobic among you. This is also available in a pre-built, assembled, and tested unit for 429 95. This is a great radio. It's a lot of fun. This is a simple review because it's a simple radio. And in the best way, that's actually its major selling point. It sounds easy to listen to. It, it's absolutely fantastic to use because there's just not a lot going on. And those memory options, really handy for us CW noobs. Well, tell me your thought of the CFT1 in the comments and give Jonathan a shout out there as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please, please, please subscribe. I'm Josh KI6NAZ73.